So for my project, it's suits and business, a thing of the past, or a necessity. My project is geared towards the recent graduates of the Carlson School of Management. This is a fun project because I think that workplaces are getting a little less formal, and suits are such a big investment that it really matters where you're putting your money, and is it smart to put that money into a suit in the long run. So a little overview of my project, we're going to talk about the introduction and the origin of the modern suit, um, modern business wear and trends, and then write my recommendation and fitting, and then we'll go over a conclusion. Um, this is like more of a guide to show you what suits are, what suits were, and what my recommendations for a suit is. Uh, this is the introduction. So when you think of a businessman, most people think of black suit, gray suit, or um, a blue suit. But that has really changed over the last couple years. A lot more people are wearing sweaters and just a shirt. Heck, there's even people that wear just a sport coat and jeans or a sport coat and a t-shirt. Um, trends have really changed over the past couple of years, and I think this is important as you're looking into investing in a suit. Modern trends have really changed. Um, there's this kind of an outdated idea of formality, and this might be a hindering process to those who are looking to emerge in the workforce. So the origin of the modern suit really started in the 1940s. Um, before that, they were still wearing suits, but it was a lot of made-to-measure, so you had to go in, get specifically fit for a suit, they cut the suit exactly for your body, and then that was how you got your suit. But in the 1940s, they made um, machines that could mass-produce suits, and that's when the really business image of the modern businessman took off. Um, suits really haven't changed that much. There's still some conservative aspects, you know, the lapels, so the little folding at the collar changes, um, some patterns change, but a conservative suit from 1940 would look very similar to a conservative suit today. The staple blue blazer and um, slacks or the staple chocolate gray suit really hasn't changed. It's just got a little more innovative with patterns and the lapel size. I'll dive a little more into the modern trends. Um, so since the 1990s, people have getting less and less formal in business. Um, you see a lot of people wearing sport coats and slacks. You can see in this picture of the Isaiah suit, people are wearing a little more patterns, um, something that shows individuality instead of waking up and putting on the same blue or gray suit every day. Maybe like this uh, Mia and Zanya ad, they're using more of the tried and true patterns on a fun and innovative suit. So you can do either the flashy versus the conservative. It really depends on your marketplace. So say you worked at a marketing firm, um, maybe my recommendation would be to go a little more flashy. You know, a little, it's a little less formal, but if you work in a financial firm or you're or an accounting firm, I'd say go with a tried and true brown suit or blue slacks or a blue coat. It's just something that's not gonna pop out and no one's gonna bat an eye at. So moving on to more of the modern workplaces, we could look at you know a great pair of jeans, on tailored jeans, a sweater, and maybe a coat, or um, even look at this. The CEO of Spotify is on this slide. You can see him wearing a shirt that says "Suits Suck." Um, a lot of people have kind of changed their idea of the modern suit and think that you know comfort and casualness over formality is a better way to run their company. And you might see this at a lot of like marketing firms or startups. So you really just have to find out what works best for your marketplace. So my recommendation is buy a suit that fits you well. You want a blazer or a coat to fit you in the shoulders really well because everything else is easy to tailor after that point. You want a pair of slacks um, to fit you really well in the thigh because it's really easy to tailor everything out. It's really easy to take um, something out in the rear or you know, shorten legs, but if it doesn't fit you in the thighs, there's not that much material there to take out and you're kind of just compromising um, the idea of the coat. Also we're going to look at the X. You can see that in the next diagram on the next slide. Um, that if, it, if you see an X on your coat, it's a little tight. Most of the time you can get that taken out in the waist. That's not really an issue. But it, you know, if you gain a little weight, you want to take out that X so it doesn't look like you have grown out of the suit. And you also don't want to look huge in the suit because you don't want to look like you're, you stole from your dad's closet. Um, Easiest thing I can recommend is taking a charcoal blue a charcoal blue suit or a charcoal gray suit. Super easy to pair with shoes, ties, and no one's really going to bat an eye. You don't even get a pattern in there if you want to check or something. But super easy ways to get a blue suit or a gray suit for your interviews. 
you know, these are going to stand the test of time and look really great. Uh, next, we'll talk about shoes. This is kind of my area of expertise. So dress shoes are something you can always get. Um, I would recommend a brown dress shoe, you know, dark to mid-brown. It's, it's going to go with everything you have except for your black suit. Um, if you work at a little more conservative workplace, you can see we have like a dress sneaker on here, which is really cool. It looks really cool. Slacks or jeans. Um, and then the top picture, you got a little more formal shoe. So you got that tight lace up that's called a blucher. That's always a formal shoe. You got some monk straps, the ones with the straps, single and double. So, I mean, shoes are something you can kind of play around with. Um, most of the time, people don't bad night at shoes. It's a little more of a form of expression, which is kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, just feel around your marketplace for what people are wearing in your business about shoes. Uh, shoes that would be more casual, like a startup or like marketing firm. You can see that we have a boot here that would be look great with jeans. You know, you wouldn't wear that with a suit. Um, we also have this dark, beautiful Chuck of Suede by Gravati, which is a great shoe. Um, that look great with, and you can wear that with slacks, but it's, it's more of a jean shoe. So these are like something that you'd wear with like a sweater, or like a dress shirt, a nice pair of jeans, you know, something that's a little less formal. So if you've been thinking the whole time, and you're telling me to get this gray suit, and this blue suit, it's super boring, I don't, I don't think of myself as a boring person, ties and pocket squares are where you can go have a little more fun. Um, you can see in this ad, this guy's wearing an Eton shirt, which is a great shirt out of Sweden. It's got like a safari pattern, I don't know if you can tell but he's wearing it with a classic blue tie. So this is something you can wear to show a little more fun, but he also looks professional because he's wearing that solid blue tie. So if you're gonna match a fun tie, have a more plain looking shirt. If you're gonna have a fun shirt, have a more of a plain looking tie would be my recommendation. So in conclusion, um, if I have one recommendation, if you don't have a lot of money, just go out and buy a great gray suit that fits you really well. This is something you can use for interviews, and then after you get the job, you can find out your, what you really want in clothing. Um, another great thing is a blue blazer because you can wear it a little more casually, you know, chinos or jeans, and you can also wear it with slacks and it looks great. So a charcoal gray suit and blue blazer is something you're going to want to invest in in the short run to help you get jobs and feel your marketplace in the long run. Thank you. Thank you for listening.